Hello, welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca and today we are going to go through the new Jura E8. So this machine was recently updated, um, but this is the newest model currently on the market. So this machine does have the same footprint as the Jura S8 um, and everything is kind of in the same place as well. So you got the uh, two liter water tank on the side here, you can take it out just like this or fill with it in. It does take the smart filter just like the S8 as well and just like the older model of the E8. Um, bean hopper is located on top. So this is a 280 gram bean hopper and it does have the uh, new grinder in there. So this is the professional aroma grinder. It's much quieter than the Aroma G3 and you will be able to see that when we brew some drinks. On the back here, you've got your bypass chute. So this is not a censored bypass anymore. You now have to access this through an option um, on the screen here, which I will show you later on. You also have your grind size selection up here too. So if you need to adjust your grind size, you can do so from just back here. Um, drip tray and used coffee pucks here. You can take that out. It is a plastic drip tray now, not, not a metal one. Uh, and then you also have your frother on the side here, coffee spouts right here. Um, so, so this machine does look very similar to the older model, but there are some new beverages on here, including the Doppio Espresso, a True Americano, and a Cortado. Um, so the Doppio Espresso will grind and brew twice, and the Cortado is equal parts espresso to milk, and an, a True Americano will pour hot water and espresso separately um, into the same mug, which is nice. So I'll show you how to do the Americano, but I'm gonna take you through all of the beverages it has. It has 17 pre-programmed drinks, um, including some milk beverages that will give you an extra shot. So on the screen, we don't have all of our pre-programmed drinks. Some of them need to be accessed through our extra menu, which I will show you how to get there. But on the screen here, you'll see we've got milk foam, espresso doppio, Americano, latte macchiato, coffee, cortado, cafe barista, and macchiato. That would be espresso macchiato, not latte macchiato. Flat white, cappuccino, hot water, You'll access the hot water by um, removing the milk foam spout and replacing it with the hot water spout, and then your espresso. So all of these beverages are customizable. To do that on this particular unit, you need to press and hold whichever be beverage you're wanting to customize instead of going into your programming settings like normal. So you'll press and hold. We're going to do Americano right now. You'll select product settings. So from here I can increase my strength, so I'll make it as strong as it can go. This will do the 16 grams, uh, just like the S8 and the older E8 models. If I scroll over using this top button, I can increase my volume. This is going to increase the volume of my espresso shot. I'm going to leave it at two ounces because that is a good size. And the temperature here, you have a, like, a low normal high. So we'll leave it at high. And then this is the water. So if um, I leave it at five ounces, it's going to total a seven ounce beverage, which sounds good to me, but I'm gonna put it down just a little bit and do a six ounce. To save, just press the save at the bottom there. So that's one way to edit. You can also, true to Jura, you can edit as you go. So on the fly, um, you can edit the strength and the length of the beverage as you're brewing or right before you brew. It will prompt you um, and we'll showcase that when, when we're brewing our beverages. If you wanted to access that kind of extra beverage menu that I was talking about, you need to press and hold on the gear down here on the left. If you select extra shot on Every milk beverage except for your Cortado, it's going to allow you to do an extra shot. I'm going to click that and let, show you which ones you can do it on. You'll see here on Latte Macchiato, you've got a little white bean on the beverage picture there. That's indicating that you're going to use um, the extra shot feature. If you want to exit out of that, press and hold uh, the gear again and then just click extra shot and it'll get rid of that feature. The uh, press and hold of the gear is also where you access the bypass chute. So I mentioned before, it's not a censored bypass anymore. You do have to access it this way. So if you select ground coffee, 
um, it's going to bypass the grinding and just use whatever you've put down that chute. There we go, and just exit out of that. Um, so I'm going to brew some beverages. We're going to first make an Americano because I just edited that. It's going to fit nicely in this mug. And then we'll brew a milk beverage. So i um, just going to get going with that. So we're going to do our Americano. I'm going to press Americano. You'll see that it's prompted me to now change my strength. I'm going to leave it. If I wanted to edit, I would just click the arrows. If I wanted to edit my volume, I can do that too. That's the shot volume. I'm not sure if you even heard that grinder because it was so quiet. And that's a true one touch Americano. Not many super automatics can do that. Um, the other Jura that can do that right now would be the uh, Jura Z8. And that one's quite a bit more in money. Okay. So there we go. Our true Americano. It smells amazing, but it's really hot. Okay. So the milk, if we're pouring espresso based beverages, so anything that doesn't have milk coming out of it is going to pour out of the center um, spouts right here. If we're doing anything that has milk, like a cappuccino, latte macchiato, or flat white, it will come out of the side and all go into your cup. So we're going to do, we're going to do flat white. Um, and we're going to edit that one as we go because that one I haven't touched the settings of, so it's going to be factory settings and then we'll edit and see, um, you know, make some changes there. So I'll just scroll through and get to my flat weight. So I'm going to decrease my strength a little bit just to show you. Increase the coffee amount just by 0.5 ounces. On this E8, we no longer have the fine foam frother with the selection. Um, so this machine is going to do the foam just as the machine is programmed to do. You are going to be able to see a difference between the cappuccino foam, latte macchiato foam, and flat white foam, but you're not going to be able to customize the foam level anymore, though what they have it set to is, is pretty good. Okay. So very, very nice micro foam on this machine. Juras always do such nice foam. So this is our flat white. The factory settings that we had it at, I mean, I edited the shot amount by just the smallest amount, but that is a perfectly sized flat white. Six ounces, it's beautiful, and our Americano. Um, so this machine is similar to the SA. I just wanted to do a little bit of a quick comparison between the two why you're paying more for the S8 and some features that this machine has that the S8 doesn't. Um, so on the S8 you have a few more automatic features. So you have the sensor bypass that you don't have on this unit anymore and you also have a sensor bean hopper. So the bean hopper on the S8 will tell you when it's running low or empty and then let you know that you need to fill. This machine won't, you'll just have to keep an eye on it, but the hopper lid is clear so it makes it quite easy. Um, the S8 also has that fine foam frother with the selection. So you can select your froth level, which is, is nice and um, easy. And customers do like to change the froth level, 
froth level of their beverages and customize it that way. It also has a touchscreen. That's really what you're paying for with the S8 is the beautiful touchscreen. Though the E8 does still have that gorgeous color display so you can still see the beverages um, that you're making and a lot of customers find that easier rather than going off of the names. S some people don't know what a latte macchiato is but when they look at the picture they can see oh it's a latte. Um, the S8 also has the a metal drip tray. This one is just plastic but it's still nice and chrome. Um, even on the black, you still have some chrome accents uh, on the E8, so it's quite nice. Other than that, they, the E8 has the updated grinder. So this grinder is actually quieter than on the S8. Um, it is actually very, very quiet. I, sometimes you don't notice a difference when a company says that their grinder is quieter. Um, to the normal human ear, maybe it's not so much, but this one is audibly a lot quieter. And it also has the extra beverages, like the Americano, One Touch, Americano, Doppio Espresso, and Cortado. So really, really great machine. We've only been carrying it now for a little bit, um, but we would love some customer feedback on it. But if you have any questions about this unit or any other unit, just drop us a question below. Um, if you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and follow us if you want to stay up, stay up to date with us. Okay, thanks, bye-bye.